Remember that uh, photo of President Trump at the G7 summit from a few weeks ago? Remember that one where it looked like all the other world leaders were fighting with Trump because he refused to take a bath? Yeah? <laughs> well, it turns out there's a pretty sweet story behind it. Chancellor Merkel of Germany uh, and Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada wanted to press Trump directly to sign the communique. And Trump was sitting there with his arms crossed, clearly not liking the fact that he felt like they were ganging up on him. He said, okay, he'll sign it. And at that point, he stood up, uh, he put his hand in his pocket, and he took two Starburst candies out, threw them on the table, and said to Merkel, uh, here, Angela, don't say I never give you anything. I cannot believe that Donald Trump would have two uneaten Starbursts in his pocket. <laughs> I also can't believe he threw them at another world leader. <laughs> Although knowing Trump, he probably immediately snatched the second Starburst back. He was like, I only meant to give you one. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. So with that story about Merkel, plus the news that Trump is escalating his trade beef with China, it's pretty safe to say, that the President of the United States doesn't have a lot of friends around the world right now. But there's still a lot of people who still like him back home. Like at last night's campaign rally in Duluth, Minnesota, where he popped in to support a Republican congressional candidate. And look, let's be honest. At this point, Trump's rallies are like Jurassic Park movies, right? <laughs> it's extremely predictable, but you still kinda wanna see what the screaming tiny hand monster will do <laughs> once he gets loose. So I'm not gonna waste your time showing you the usual lock her up and build that swamp stuff, right? But there was one moment that we just couldn't ignore. You ever notice they always call the other side, and they do this up, the elite, the elite. Why are they elite? I have a much better apartment than they do. I'm smarter than they are. I'm richer than they are. I became president and they didn't. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I thought the MAGA fans hated the elites, but now that Trump says he's one, all of a sudden they're cheering. Yeah, elites, yeah! These people will follow Trump anywhere. I wouldn't be surprised if one day Trump is like, folks, I just got my 23 and me, and it turns out I'm fully Mexican! <laughs> and the crowd will be like, yeah, Mexico! 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 <laughs> now, now, most of last night's rally, was the same old talking points, right? Same old, same old. But Trump has clearly been practicing a whole bunch of new hand moves. Great champion, you know, the, you know, the whole thing, going up the trees and down the trees. They just show my face. Take a shot of the arena. Let's go get some more. It's a whole, we're going to be going to space. Out. What was that? <laughs> like, if you had your TV on mute, what would you think the president was talking about when he did that? <laughs> Someone at home was just like, honey, I, I think we're gonna start jerking off the immigrants. I, uh... <laughs> oh, and I also love the one that was before that. What, like, what was that move? What is that, what is that? huh? What is that? It's like, it's like salt bay. It's like a little, or, or I guess for him, it's sexual assault bay. That's what that is.